Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important problem uh, from three dimensional geometry, right? So here the problem is related to uh, finding out the equation of a plane uh, containing a given line, right? And moreover, uh, the plane is uh, perpendicular to uh, some given plane, right? So let us uh, take this problem and here uh, we have to find the equation of a plane uh, containing a line, right? And the equation is given uh, like this and perpendicular uh, to a given plane uh, 3x plus y minus 5z equal to 3, right? So uh, let us first analyze this problem and let us first write down uh, the given things and then we'll proceed uh, to find out the equation of the plane. Now see here uh, we are given the equation of uh, a line uh, let us denote the line by L right so we have x minus 1 over 2 y minus 1 over 3 and z minus 3 over 4 right and we are given the equation of a plane uh, let us uh, denote this plane uh, by say uh, P1 right so, and the equation is uh, 3x plus y minus 5z is equal to 3 right so now let us draw a rough diagram here so we are given uh, a plane and this plane uh, it contains uh, this line right and this plane is perpendicular to this plane right we see that the uh, line it contains or it passes through the point uh, 1 comma 1 uh, comma 3 right so 1 1 3 is the point uh, through which uh, this line passes right so here we can take the point uh, this point can be denoted by point a and we have 1 1 and 3 right okay so now uh, this plane p whose equation is to be uh, uh, computed uh, this plane p is uh, perpendicular to this plane p1 right so here we can draw the plane uh, p1 right so this is a rough diagram so here we have the plane p1 whose equation is given by 3x plus y minus 5z is equal to 3 now if we look at the equation of this plane P1 then we see that uh, the direction ratios the drs of the normal uh, which is uh, uh, denoted by n1 a vector the drs are given by uh, the coefficients of x y and z so the drs of the normal to this plane P1 are given by 3 1 and minus 5 right so 3 here we have 1 and then minus 5 so this is the normal that is a, a vector n1 right and the drs are given by 3 1 and minus 5 right and from the equation of this line l uh, we see that the drs of uh, the line uh, L are given by 2, 3 and 4, right? So the DRs of the line L are 2, 3 and 4 and uh, now uh, let us uh, uh, write the equation of uh, this plane P, right? Okay, so now the equation of the plane P uh, can be written as uh, uh, A x minus x1 plus b uh, times y minus y1 plus c z minus z1 is equal to 0 right so this is the equation of a plane uh, which passes through a point x1 y1 and z1 right and let us see from where we can get this x1 y1 and z1 because uh, this plane p uh, it contains this line L right and this line L uh, contains this point 1 1 and 3 so obviously 
when the line L it lies on this plane P obviously this point also lies on the plane right so we can take x1 y1 z1 as uh, 1 1 and 3 right and uh, these coefficients a b c are the drs of the normal vector that is vector n of this plane p right so a b and c are the drs of the normal vector right so this is the normal vector that is a vector n to this plane p right and n1 vector is the normal vector to this plane p1 right so now let us substitute the values of x1 y1 z1 in this equation so now the equation of the plane p can be written as a x minus x1 so we have x1 as 1 and then we have b y minus 1 because y1 is 1 and then we have c z minus uh, 3 right and from this equation we see that a b c are the drs of uh, this normal vector to this plane and once we uh, get the values of a b c we can substitute here and we can easily get the equation of the plane p right so now uh, let us uh, uh, form or let us frame equations in a b c uh, to get the values of a b and c so now viewers uh, let us first look at this plane p right see uh, this vector n is the normal vector to this plane p and this plane p it contains this line l right so now this vector n is perpendicular to this line l right so now uh, we know that uh, if two vectors are perpendicular and their drs are a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 then the condition for perpendicularity is given by uh, a1 uh, a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 right so this normal vector n has the drs a b c and this line l has the drs 2 3 4 so now uh, this vector n is perpendicular to uh, the line L so by this condition uh, we can write an equation uh, that is uh, uh, 2a uh, here we have 2 3 4 so we have 2a plus uh, 3b 3 times b and then we have 4 times of c right so this is uh, the first equation in a b and c right now uh, let us form the second equation in a b and c now uh, viewers uh, in the problem we are given that uh, this uh, plane p is perpendicular to this plane right so this plane uh, p is given to be perpendicular uh, to this plane p1 right and from uh, the concepts we know that uh, if uh, two planes are perpendicular right if two planes are perpendicular then their uh, normals are also perpendicular right so when two planes are perpendicular right when two planes are perpendicular then their normals are also perpendicular and similarly when two planes are parallel then their normals are also parallel right so uh, here uh, we can again use this condition so the drs of vector n are a b c and the drs of vector n1 are 3 1 minus 5 so using this condition we have the uh, second equation as uh, uh, 3 a we have 3 a plus 1 b that is simply b and then we have minus 5 c right so now this is the second equation so now we have uh, two equations in a b c and we'll uh, solve these two equations but uh, uh, what we will uh, do here 
uh, we will try to eliminate uh, one of the uh, variables right and it is up to us to choose uh, which var uh, which variable is to be eliminated so here uh, we can uh, choose uh, c right so now viewers here we can uh, select uh, this uh, variable c and we'll try to eliminate it so what we will do we'll try to multiply the first equation by uh, 5 so we can multiply this equation by 5 and this equation by 4 right so what we will get here uh, we'll have 10a then we have 15b then we have 20c is equal to 0 then we'll have 12a then we have 4b and we have 20 c right now we'll add both these equations so these two get cancelled so this is 22 a and here we have 19 uh, b right and this is equal to 0 right so now uh, from here what we will do we'll write 22 a is equal to minus 19 uh, b right and now uh, here we'll uh, introduce a scalar and we can take 22a is equal to minus 19b is equal to some uh, scalar lambda, right? So now uh, we can write 22a is uh, equal to lambda. So a is uh, lambda over 22, right? And similarly, minus 19b is equal to lambda. So b is uh, minus lambda over 19. Right, so we are, uh, here we have introduced this uh, scalar lambda and uh, we have now able to express this a and b in terms of lambda. Now we can substitute the values of a and b in equation 1 or 2 uh, to get the value of c in terms of lambda. So now we can substitute a and b in equation number 2. So now we have here uh, 3a, so we have 3 lambda over 22 and here we have minus, uh, here we have plus b, so we have minus lambda over 19, then we have minus 5c is equal to 0, right? So now 5c can be written as 3 lambda over 22 minus uh, lambda over 19, right? So now we can simplify it. So we have uh, here uh, 22 times 19 and we have 57 uh, lambda minus 22 lambda and we have 5c is uh, equal to here we have 5 and then we have 3 that is 35 lambda over 22 times 19 and this is 5 sevens are 35. So we have now c is equal to uh, 7 lambda over 22 times 19, right? So now uh, c is equal to 7 lambda over uh, 418, right? So now we have got the values of a, b and c in terms of lambda, right? So now uh, we can uh, substitute these values in this equation and uh, uh, we can find out the equation of uh, the plane p right so let us substitute the values of a b and c uh, in equation uh, this equation right so now uh, uh, we can substitute a is equal to lambda over 22 over here so we have lambda over uh, 22 then we have here x minus 1 and uh, uh, then we have b, b is minus lambda over 19 and this is y minus 1 and then uh, we have c which is 7 lambda over 418 uh, and z minus uh, 3 is equal to 0, right? So what we have done here? we have uh, uh, substituted the values of a, b and c in this equation, right? Now viewers, here we see that uh, lambda is not equal to 0 
and so uh, we can uh, divide both sides by lambda so we have 1 over 22 x minus 1 then we have minus 1 over 19 y minus 1 and here we have 7 over 418 and z minus 3 is equal to 0. So now here we see that we have uh, in the denominator we have 22, 19 and 418. So what we will do, uh, we will multiply this uh, entire equation by uh, 418. So now uh, we will get the equation of P as uh, here we will have 19 uh, x minus 1 because 22 times 19 is 418 and here we have minus and 19 times uh, 22 is 418 and here we have x minus 1 uh, sorry here we'll have y minus 1 and then we have 7 and here 418 get cancelled with 418 and we have 7 times z minus 3 is equal to 0 right now we can simplify it so we have 19x minus 19 minus 22y plus 22 and here we have 7z minus 21 is equal to 0 right so now we can collect these terms so 19x minus 22y plus uh, 7z and here we have uh, uh, minus 19 we can take it to this side so plus 19 then we have minus 22 uh, plus 21 right so this is uh, 19 minus 22 is minus 3 plus 21 so that is 18 right so viewers the equation of uh, uh, this plane p is uh, uh, given by uh, 19x minus 22y plus 7z minus 18 is equal to 0. So viewers, uh, this is the uh, Cartesian equation of this plane P and we can also express this Cartesian equation in vector form uh, which can also be written as uh, vector r dot 19 i cap then we have minus 22 j cap plus 7 uh, k cap and we have equal to uh, 18 right so this is the vector equation and this is the cartesian equation right so viewers uh, this is how uh, we solve this important conceptual problem uh, from three dimensional geometry